Hello everyone. Welcome you all to our channel. This video is about the last session of advanced level chemistry. And today I'm going to discuss about the extraction of magnesium using Dow process. First of all, we will see the uses of magnesium. As you know, magnesium is one of the most abundant metal in the earth crust and it is used in many industries all over the world. One of the main application of magnesium is the production of alloys. Magnesium is used to produce super strong lightweight alloys and these alloys are used for aircrafts and automotives. Moreover, magnesium is used in medical industry to produce some drugs such as milk of magnesia. Also, currently magnesium batteries are commercialized as primary batteries and they are very active topic of research for rechargeable batteries. Now I am moving to the raw materials essential for magnesium extraction process. Here we want bitter or brine solution. Actually, bitter is the solution that is discarded at the last stage of producing salt from seawater. And I will explain about brine solution later in sodium hydroxide extraction video. Then we want limestone that is calcium carbonate or dolomite that is a mixture of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate and also we want concentrated hydrochloric acid as one of the raw materials. Now let us move on to the main steps of the process. There are four main steps in this process. Step 1 is production of calcium oxide and the step 2 is production of magnesium hydroxide and the main aim of step 3 is production of magnesium chloride and the fourth and final step is extraction of magnesium using electrolysis. Now let us discuss what will happen in each above mentioned steps. I have told you step 1 is the production of calcium oxide. Here what happened is thermal decomposition of limestone that is calcium carbonate or dolomite that is a mixture of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. You can see these reactions are reversible and both reactions produce carbon dioxide as one of the resultants. So, during the thermal decomposition, carbon dioxide has to be efficiently removed. If not, again backward reaction will be prominent and the reactants, those are calcium carbonate and dolomite will form. Production of magnesium hydroxide is the main aim of step 2. Here, calcium oxide which produced in the first step are reacted with bitter solution. In there, calcium oxide reacts with water which is present in the bitter solution and form calcium hydroxide as the equation 1. Then, Calcium hydroxide slightly dissolves in water and give calcium 2 plus and hydroxide ions as shown in equation 2. Since the solubility product of magnesium hydroxide is lower than that of calcium hydroxide, magnesium 2 plus in the bitter solution are precipitated as magnesium hydroxide according to equation 3. Then more and more calcium hydroxide goes into solution and release hydroxide ions without remaining the calcium hydroxide as precipitate and it dissolves. If calcium hydroxide is not completely dissolved in this process, it will be a disadvantage. Then 
the amount of calcium oxide required to precipitate magnesium 2 plus ions in the solution is added in the step 2. In step 3, magnesium hydroxide that is formed in the second step is filtered and removed and it is reacted with concentrated hydrochloric acid to get magnesium chloride as per the equation. Already I have told that we can use dolomite instead of limestone. If dolomite was used, then magnesium oxide formed at the first step and it is insoluble in water. Then magnesium oxide also mixed with magnesium hydroxide precipitation and it will be a disadvantage for the whole process. Main objective of the fourth step is to extract magnesium by electrolysis. Here magnesium chloride formed in the step 3 is used. However, magnesium chloride solution is heated strongly to vaporize water before it starts this step. The dried salt contains about 16% of water by weight to weight ratio finally. Then we can use this magnesium chloride solution for this step. First, dried magnesium chloride is fused in the steel chamber. In this figure, you can see the Dow cell and the electrolysis is done in the steel chamber. Here you can see tubes that supplies fuel gases of the burner. Then the burner gives high temperature and the cell is maintained within the range 700 to 800 Celsius. Because of this temperature, all water in Magnesium chloride solution gets completely removed by vaporization. Since the chamber maintains high temperature in between 700 to 800 Celsius, then magnesium chloride will completely fused because its melting point is 714 Celsius. Then in the chamber, magnesium 2 plus ions and chloride ions are present. This cell consists of graphite anode and the reaction at the anode can be shown in this equation. And the chlorine gas is emitted in this step and it will use for production of hydrochloric acid. In the steel cathode, magnesium globules are produced as in this equation. Actually, magnesium globules can be withdrawn from the cell easily because density of magnesium is lower than magnesium chloride. Then, magnesium globules floats on the fused magnesium chloride. Then, the liquid magnesium is taken out from the cell and cool to get magnesium metal. Through this slide, I will briefly summarize the whole process of magnesium extraction. First, we have to take calcium carbonate or limestone or we can use calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate mixture that is dolomite and thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate or dolomite results calcium oxide then calcium oxide is treated with magnesium 2 plus ions by bitten solution and then magnesium hydroxide precipitation will form and we have to filter the magnesium hydroxide precipitation. After that we have to treat it with concentrated hydrochloric acid then dry up to 16% of water and then magnesium chloride 2H2O will form and in the Dow cell it has to be dry further then we can get magnesium chloride liquid that is fused magnesium chloride and also after that 
magnesium liquid will form and the, uh, in this reaction chlorine gas is formed and the gas is used to produce concentrated hydrochloric acid and then we have to cool magnesium liquid to get magnesium solid. This is the end of the magnesium extraction process according to the new syllabus uh, of advanced level chemistry uh, and we will come up with new videos which are useful for you. If you are interested in our videos, please subscribe on us. Thank you.